February, a new month, a new day and snow. We can just see the downs on the horizon, so let's go off and inspect the allotment for any damage. No damage noted, all is quiet, only person to visit the allotments, mine are the only footprints, not even any prints by birds, mice or rabbits, and because of the icy roads, very little traffic. The ice on the bucket is still there, but not as thick as last week. Bad weather forecast tomorrow. So my daughter required vegetables. What do you want, I ask. Whatever you have. Less leaks. It was like a swarm of locusts. Wham bam. Welcome to Sector 11. This area is under a Level 2 biohazard quarantine. Please limit your contact with other personnel as much as possible. Have a safe and productive day. Eek. Plastic. First chance available. This plastic will have to go. Picking broccoli and kale. Celeriac Swede Swiss chard Black kale As promised, we were hit by storm Eric We got a lot heavy rain, bright sunshine, light rain Bright sunshine stones, bright sunshine, all accompanied with high gale winds, and that kept the Targaryen flag flying. Inside the poly it was snug and warm, but noisy. I have to start testing the compost mix for the soil blocking for next week is Valentine's, the traditional start of seed sowing. The recipe in the instructions is six handfuls of sharp sand to one bucket of compost. This Levington's compost contained an amount of what can only be termed as crap. So the first job was one of sifting. One. Two. An hour later, all sifted and six handfuls of sand added and thoroughly mixed. Now we come to the exciting bit, adding the water, sufficient to mould the compost into a ball, wet enough to make the compost glisten. I'm told good compost lets the water sink through instantly, poor compost holds the water for a short while. This compost held the water for a few seconds. This compost feels a bit wet, so I'll add a bit more dry, just to thicken it up a bit. Oh, still not right. Let's put a bit more in. I think, and I only think, that it's not the right consistency. So we'll start now using the block. And there's the first set of 20 blocks. Right, let's have another go. Now this is important. You've got to wet the 
tool before you put in the uh, compost. And that's a bit better. But not this. That's rubbish. Start again. Gently. And there we go. I need trays. And this is how the professionals do it. Trays with trellised bases are laid over a capillary mat which is kept wet from a water trough. Trays jiggled at regular periods to stop the roots fixing themselves in the matting to large enough to transplant into larger blocks. And these are my initial thoughts on how I'm going to tackle the situation. Plastic had been cleared up and bagged and duly disposed of at our local recycling centre. Leaving the recycling centre, I visited a local garden centre nearby to buy some peat moss. Well, that's it for this week. I wasn't happy with that uh, compost that I've just been using. Uh, I've been making some inquiries and they tell me that this stuff is the best. And it's what the garden centre use themselves for the blocking. So, until next week, I'll say cheerio, take care, Bye.